The history of this, uh, the, the recent history of this, um, and I guess the chances, uh, if they're rising or falling, of it, of it hitting Earth. So this was actually first uh, observed back in December last year. So it's actually quite a recent thing. So we're taking observations at the moment. There's a whole network of astronomers around the world looking at it and trying to uh, work out what the orbital period is, how big it is. There's a whole bunch of unknowns at the moment. So we've seen the, the percentage chances of it hitting us rise from around 1.3 up to, I think the highest was about 2.3. Currently, I've checked today, it's 2.1% chance Percent, of hitting yeah. us um, in uh, December 2032. But that, that means there is, you know, there's still the majority chance that it won't hit us. But if it does, we need to know where it might hit and what we could do about it. Well, well, thankfully, more than just a majority chance that it won't hit us. But, uh, but yeah, significant enough uh, thing to be worried about. So, so how big is it and what damage would it do if it hit us? Well, that's the interesting question. Uh, we know that it's somewhere in the region of 40 to 90 metres. Um, but we can't tell currently with the uh, observations we're doing from Earth what size it exactly is because we're, we're looking at it with visual light and it it can depend on the amount of reflectance of the thing. So it could be small and really shiny, so it's reflecting more light and looks bigger, or it could be really big and less shiny. Um, so what they're going to do is use the James Webb Space Telescope to uh, take some infrared observations and work out the exact size of it. But at about 40 metres, it could be something that would... There'd be an air blast, it might shatter some windows, wouldn't do too much damage. If it was on the 90 meter end of the scale, we're looking at what they would call a city killer, where if it was to land on a major city, and there are a few in the potential um, hit zone, that would be disastrous. How do we know what the potential hit zone is if you're talking about it not hitting for years? We can, we can know where in the world it's gonna hit, if it hits? So where it will, so there's a whole bunch of really complicated orbital dynamics, because obviously the, the asteroid itself has got an orbit, we've got an orbit, uh, they're, that's why we need to do more observations to work out exactly the timing of that. So it looks like it's on about a four-year orbit. It's going to come back to us in 2028 and not hit. And at that point, we will definitely know uh, enough about its uh, orbital trajectory to work out whether it would hit us. But when it, when it does collide with Earth, it will either come just... Well, if, if it were, it could either come too early and miss Earth or there's a slice through Earth where it might hit and then... Or if it was too late, it would, it would miss us. And, and the moon is, is relevant in this how? Because it, it could help us, I read in one report. I have seen a report that somebody's suggesting that it might, it might impact the moon rather than impacting Earth, um, which would be quite interesting. There are lots of instruments on the moon um, that are looking at moonquakes, so we'd actually then be able to uh, work out how, how big that impact was. I mean, I'm sure we'd get a whole bunch of interesting science from that. Mm. If, if this was heading towards Earth and got closer, are there means to which it can be blown out of the sky or not? So NASA Space. did a, a really interesting test uh, a couple of years ago um, called DART, and they sent a spacecraft up to an, uh, an asteroid to see if they could redirect it on its orbit. Effectively, what they did, they called it a kinetic impactor, but basically they smashed the spacecraft into the side of the um, asteroid and then that actually bumped it off its orbit. And we, we know that we can do that. Wow. So the science in Armageddon with Bruce Willis was not that ridiculous. I mean, I'm not sure we'd want to be sending a nuclear, uh, a nuclear bomb into space. There are, you know, some issues with I where you would launch that bit. from. But, 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 but there, was, there was actually a, a NASA astronaut who uh, was part of the 2021 intake who did work on drilling on oil rigs for over 10 years. So she's probably... A step oh ahead God, of you I on the arm this. again, sorry. It's, it's one of the great films of our time. <laughs> Do you agree or not? Uh, I guess it has a place in There in, we go. The that'll that'll history, be yeah. enough from a space <laughs> excerpt. I absolutely loved it. I, in fact, need to watch that again. Kate, thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, much appreciated, as always. Always love talking about space.